the Holy Spirit. and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ risen from the dead the love of God our Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always good morning happy Easter welcome brothers and sisters as we begin these 50 days of celebration last night the joy of our community to welcome 19 brothers and sisters through baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist into the family of faith. Today is a day when we too renew our baptismal faith. We're going to ask the Lord to use this same holy water that we used last night to help us remember our baptism. We give thanks to God for this precious gift. Let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to use this water as the symbol of our baptism, that we, he may graciously renew us, that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy, be present to your people, who on this holy day recall the wondrous work of our creation, and the still greater work of our redemption. We praise you for this blessed water. You created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through water, you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water, the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in a bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of our baptism and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who in last night's vigil received new life in Christ, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Deacon and I are going to pass among you, wrinkling with this water, I invite you make the sign of the cross and recommit, renew your baptismal promises.
May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. After 40 days of not praising God with the glory of today, we join the echo of the saints and angels in heaven proclaiming God's glory. Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us open our hearts and our minds, our souls, to God's holy word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John had preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went out about doing good 
and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witness chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned, commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sequence can be found on number 405, O Sons and Daughters.
with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. That was convincing. <laughs> Christ is risen. That sounds a little better. That's the proclamation of today, right? But we've come here together to proclaim and to celebrate, right? 
It is that good news that brings us hope, brings us joy, brings us unity, all united around the one truth, that the one who was dead is alive. Christ is risen. As you go about your work today, or your greeting with families and meeting with them, don't fall into the temptation like the non-believers, just uh, kind of, hey dude, how are you? Long time no see. Today is not a day for that. Today is a day to everyone you meet. Christ is risen. You'll get it eventually. That's why we have 50 days, right, to practice. It is the early greeting of the early church. The Christians, when they gathered together to celebrate this great feast, it was the way they recognized each other and knew each other, even though they were in living in the fear of persecution. They would greet each other with that proclamation of truth. And all those who were believers knew the response. If they said, Christ is risen and got nothing, they said, uh-oh, pagan, right? So we are called to proclaim this truth to the world. This is our job. This is our calling. This is our vocation. Each and every one of us who have been buried with Jesus in baptism and have risen up to a new life with him are to proclaim with words and with action that Christ is risen. Last night, we had 19 brothers and sisters join us in faith. They were washed clean in those very waters that we just sprinkled upon you. They left this church confirmed in faith and nourished by the Eucharist. And here we are the next day coming to do the same, to renew our baptism, to renew this belief that we have died. We have died already to sin. And we have raised up, we have been raised up in a new life through Christ. It's what St. Paul tells us today in this beautiful re reading. Think of what is above, not just of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. We are already living that new life that Jesus gave for us by his suffering and death on the cross. But it has to be a choice for us. It doesn't happen by accident. There's no such thing as an accidental Christian. We didn't just fall into the baptismal font. We have become Christians by choice. Perhaps it was your parents or godparents who took you to be baptized when you was knee-high to a grasshopper. But between then and today, you and I have had the opportunity to make a choice. I believe in one God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe that he suffered and died for me. I believe that he rose from the dead. I believe that he is with me, in me. I believe that one day, when this mortal shell falls asleep in the rest that it must have, I too will rise with Christ to a new life. This is the faith that we must profess, that we must choose to live. You cannot be an accidental Christian. So if you feel embarrassed inside the church to shout out and to proclaim with joy, Christ is risen, what are you going to do outside when the world comes against you? Here you're safe. Here you have brothers and sisters who have the same faith. 
Here you have a family that proclaims the same truths, the same moral life, the same beliefs. In the world, outside, there are those who do not share it. Do we have courage to proclaim that Jesus is risen and that he lives? Church is always a practice. You know, like baseball players and football players have to do practice. I don't think any kid or young person or even professional just shows up one day, suits up and plays. They practice. And when we come to this table, when we come to be renewed in our faith week after week after week, when we hear the good news of Christ, when we feed upon this food that gives us strength to body and soul, we practice so that we can go into the world and proclaim with our whole heart, Christ is risen. Amen. So, if you haven't got it yet, the message today is, Jesus is alive. And he is alive in you and in me. And he wants to live through you and through me. He wants to be present in the world through you and through me. He wants those who have not heard about him or come to faith in him to hear the good news about him. And it is we who are called by our baptism to make Jesus present in the world. Brothers and sisters, as you go about this day, visiting family and friends, they greet you at the door and sit you down at the table and make you go hunt for plastic eggs with Snickers in them. Don't forget to shock them a bit. Especially those that didn't go to church this morning. Not that I'm calling anybody out, right? But those who might not have got around to it, when they meet you at the door, you proclaim with your whole heart and with all sincerity that Jesus is alive. Make known to the world why this day is special. The one who died for us, the one who suffered for us, is alive and he lives in us. Christ is risen. Get that boy's name. <laughs> Let us stand together, brothers and sisters, to profess our faith. Today, rather than the creed, we use those promises that were made for us or that we made at our baptism to renew this life of Christ in us. And so, my friends, standing around the light that is Christ, I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may never enslave you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and the prince of sin? Brothers and sisters, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus, only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, who on this day rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our bodies? Do you believe in life everlasting? May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins, keep us by this faith in his grace through Christ Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever.
In this faith, brothers and sisters, we bring to God the needs of our hearts, our community, and of all the human family. response to each petition is, Hear us, O Lord, that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, will inspire new, renewed Easter faith, and that the Church may boldly and faithfully proclaim the resurrection of Christ to those who do not yet believe it. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord that the leaders of nations ensure that every person, the freed exercise of, relig of religion, and for peace throughout the world, especially in the Holy Land and Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That the newly baptized continue their long life journey into the Paschal mystery. They continue to grow with the community in worship and service, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That those crushed by addiction, depression, and grief rise to a new life through the grace and mercy of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That the living body of Christ nourish the spirits of all St. Anne's parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For the repose of the soul of Roy Doherty, and for all those who have recently died from our parish, Aurora Olmos, Bill Long, Guadalupe Zimbala, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Loving God, you have called us from death into life and have made us by the power of your Spirit living witnesses to the resurrected Christ. May our lives, our words, and all that we are give witness to the one who has conquered death and who lives never more to die. Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Please be seated, friends, as we gather our gifts and prepare the altar to meet Jesus in his body and blood. Please join in singing our offertory song number 412, Let Heaven Rejoice, number 412.
Don't give up yet. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer this sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but on this day above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overflowing with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory.
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with our patroness, Saint Anne, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops of the Clergy and Religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you on this glorious morning. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In baptism, we were born again as children of God. Our brother and our Savior taught us to call God Father. And so we have the privilege and the joy on this Easter morning to say with one voice, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord risen from the dead be with you always. Amen. Offer to one another a sign of peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are all who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. Only say the word. May the body and the blood of Christ bring all who receive him to life everlasting. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Jesus, sanctify me. Body of Jesus, save me. Blood of Jesus, wash me. O good Jesus, hear me. Hide me within your sacred wounds. O sacred heart of Mary, plead for me and love me. Amen.
please join in singing our communion song number 410. Join in the dance, number 410. Death itself has died. 
this moment of thanksgiving. We have received Jesus in this holy bread of life for the one who gave his life, the innocent and the just, for the guilty and has conquered sin and death. Let us be filled with lifelong praise and thanksgiving. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that we lead by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the Resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish you all a very beautiful Easter Sunday. Sorry we didn't have room for everyone to sit. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm very glad. It's a good problem to have, right? Have a wonderful day in God's peace. Remember, Easter is not a day, but a season. 40 days of Lent to prepare, 50 days to celebrate. We'll be having practice again next Sunday, same time, same place. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. practicing.
like to also wish Father Dan a happy birthday. You celebrated this past week. Father, happy birthday. St. Michael of the Archangel. Amen. Please join in singing our closing hymn. On, on in your hymnal books, number 415, Alleluia, Alleluia, number 415. 